Hey everybody, it's Chris Byberg, the director of the National House of Prayer, coming to you today from Ottawa. Well, we just had a fantastic weekend here in Ottawa, July the 8th. Uh, was our first March for Jesus in about 23 years. Can you imagine that? What I want to talk to you about today is, yes, we had a great time at the March. There were a couple of thousand, 2,500 people there in attendance. Many, many, many churches involved. Many ministries involved. Uh, beautiful weather. Just great celebration. Lifting up the name of Jesus. Lifting up the banner of the Lord Jesus Christ. It was just phenomenal. Uh, people got saved. I mean, there was a great message by uh, Pastor Isaac Gimba, um, who, who did a little preach there. And I tell you, people got saved. They were delivered. It was such an amazing time. But what I really want to talk to you about is young leaders. Because uh, in this particular case, there were a bunch of young leaders that took the reins. And it's important that we pray for young leaders. Again, First Timothy 2. You know, pray, it gives us a, a, a list of pray for all kinds of prayers, pray for everybody. And it's important that we pray for those those kings and those in authority. So I also, I just want to remind you about praying for those in authority and especially young leaders, young leaders that are emerging, emerging at the, in this time. It's important that we support them. And it's important that, that we as spiritual fathers and mothers come up underneath them and let them ride on our shoulders. Um, so I was just so, so pleased with, uh, with a couple of young men, um, uh, Jean-Jacques Bida Banga, who uh, uh, has, leads a church in, in, in um, Gatineau, Quebec. Uh, he took the lead on this, did an amazing job, just a young fella, and he just ran with it. Actually, to tell you the truth, I was a little skeptical that we were doing this in the middle of, you know, the beginning part of July. I wasn't sure if anybody would show up. So shame on me for not having any faith. But uh, it was a great event. And there was also another another young leader emerging out of out of uh, Ottawa, which is the uh, a region in, in, in Quebec, uh, a young man named Olivier uh, Boisdes. Um, leads a house church movement that is exploding in Quebec. Like, who would have thunk it, right? Seriously, because we have this preconceived idea that God isn't doing anything or he's not doing that much. And we, we, we like to use uh, uh, statistics like, you know, 1%, only 1%. But I'll tell you something, keep praying for Quebec. God's doing amazing, amazing things. Uh, there are some great things that are happening there. So I just thought I would share this, you know, just let you know that uh, we had a great time at March for Jesus, but also to remind you, stay on the wall. You know, it's summertime. I'm heading out to the East Coast for a little bit of a vacay, but uh, stay on the wall. Listen to the Father. Be obedient. And that's what was happening this week it was young leaders being obedient to what God is speaking to them, and they moved in it. And I just want to just... Uh, just bless them for that. So let's pray. Father, I thank you for your goodness, your mercy, for what you're doing here in our nation. And Lord, I thank you for what you're doing with young leaders. And Lord, I pray that we as the body of Christ would come up and be supports. Lord, that we would be supportive and that we would pray. And Lord, that we would do the intercession required for these young leaders to move into what they have. Thank you very much. In Jesus' name. I'm Chris Byberg, the director of the National House of Prayer, and we'll see you next time. But before I go, I just want to remind you to click and subscribe. I haven't asked us to do this, but you know, I'm really grateful for all those subscribers. We have 633 that have subscribed. If you subscribed, if you like this, share this with a friend. And, um, and, and if you haven't subscribed, subscribe so that you get our, our updates um, and as soon as we put them out on the web. Anyway, thanks, everybody. We'll see you next time. Bye for now.